Hello everyone! I've decided to start from the very beginnings and this episode is dedicated to the basics, to the data types. Just like in many other languages, Rust has integers and they are integers of two types. Fixed size integers, those that have the same size independently from a computer architecture. And pointer sized integers, their precision depends on the size of their address space on the target machine. We'll start with U8, which is the smallest unsigned integer that takes only one byte. This type cannot take negative values, because it's unsigned. And it's often used to represent binary data in tandem with array or vector types, which we'll cover later. There is also I8, a one-byte integer that may hold negative values. U16 and I16 are integers that take two bytes. Again, U16 is unsigned and I16 is signed. And there's entire family of integers up to 16 bytes. All these types are easy to remember. They start either with U or I, followed by number of bits they take in memory. Here are a few examples of integers in code. If we assign an integer to a variable and the exact type cannot be inferred from the context, Russ assumes the type is I32. In the second example, variable B is defined as type I64 explicitly. And in the third example, variable C gets assigned value of 11 of type U32. This way we can encode type in the same literal as value. As we mentioned previously, there are also pointer sized integers. Those are U size and I size. Their exact size in memory depends on particular target architecture. It can be either 4 bytes for 32 bits architectures or 8 bytes for 64 bit architectures. Type U size are used to access array and vectored items by index. There are two float types in Rust. One is F32, which takes 4 bytes, and another one with high precision is F64, which takes 8 bytes. Floats in Rust follow IEEE 754 2008 standard. Rust recognizes a float type if a numeric literal contains a dot. Apart from real numbers, float types may also represent special values like infinity and not a number. Now let's talk about boolean. It's probably the most trivial data type that can take only two values, either true or false. And it works the same way as in any other programming language. Booleans are often produced by comparison operators. And despite boolean represents only one bit of information in memory, it takes an entire byte. There are also characters. Characters have type char. And what is special about characters in Rust is that they are Unicode characters and take 4 bytes each. But don't get me wrong, strings are not covered in this episode, but they are not arrays of characters like in some other languages. Characters literals are enclosed in a single quote. You can represent a ski character with its hexadecimal code or you can refer to Unicode character by its number in the Unicode table. You can even put emoji because it's still a valid Unicode character. Now we jump to our compound types and tuples are the first in the list. Tuples group together values of different types and tuple in Rust may have up to 12 elements. To create a tuple, you just put values separated by commas within parentheses. And you can access individual items of tuples by their positions. Just like in this example. We create a mutable tuple that contains boolean 
character and float. And we print their representation to the console. Then we modify the element at position 1, which is a character, and print it again. And finally we come to arrays. Arrays represent fixed number of values of another type. And arrays types are written in square brackets, where you give a type of its elements and number of elements. Here are some examples. We can define array just by listing all its items. Here we have array of type U8 with four elements. Another way to define an array is to provide one initial value for all its elements and specify its size. Here we create an array of 5x characters. Array elements are accessible by their index. And as it was mentioned before, index must have u size type, otherwise the Rust compiler will just complain. So let's recap what we just covered. Rust have integers and there are 10 different integer types, which mostly vary by size and ability to represent negative values. We have floats of 4 and 8 bytes. There are booleans. There are characters which are Unicode characters. There are tuples that can group any arbitrary types together. And there are arrays. I also prepared this mind map for you, so it makes a little bit easier to see how all these types relate to each other. So far, that's it for today, and see you next time!